ever feel like self-improvement is just another form of procrastination? Yeah, you heard me right. Stick around because we're about to unpack why that Tony Robbins book might be holding you back more than you think. All right, let's get into it. Today, we're diving deep into why self-improvement isn't the golden ticket we all think it is. We're not just going to talk about it, but I'm going to give you some actionable steps to break free from the self-improvement trap. Sounds good? Drop a hell yeah in the comments if you're with me. First up, the self-improvement trap. Ever heard of Elizabeth Gilbert? She wrote Eat, Pray, Love, and people thought she had it all figured out. But even she admits that the self-improvement journey can sometimes be a never-ending cycle that doesn't necessarily make you happier or more successful. Instead of reading another self-help book, identify one skill you can improve that will directly impact your freelance business. Spend a week focused solely on that. Measure the results. So what's one skill that you can focus on? Let me know in the comments. Next, let's talk about the illusion of progress. Steve Jobs once said, people think focus means saying yes to the things you've got to focus on, but that's not what it means. It means saying no to the hundred other good ideas. Are you saying no enough? Or are you tricking yourself into thinking you're getting somewhere? Set clear, measurable goals for your freelance business. If what you're doing in the name of self-improvement isn't getting you closer to these goals, it's time to reassess. So what are your top three goals? Let me know. So what is real work? In the context of creative freelancing, it's not about finding yourself. It's about building yourself. Take JK Rowling, for example. She faced rejection after rejection, but kept writing. She didn't need another self-help book. She needed to do the work. So take a hard look at your client list. Are they in the niche you want to be in? If not, it's time to pivot. Start reaching out to clients in the industry you're passionate about. And don't just send cold emails. Make connections and offer value up front. All right, let's wrap this up. Self-improvement isn't bad, but it's not a substitute for doing the work. Don't let the allure of getting better keep you from actually getting things done. So stop procrastinating. And if you're serious about building your creative freelance empire, then it's time to take action. Grab your free copy of the Productizer Crash Course and let's get to work. And hey, if you're struggling with motivation, check out my recent newsletter on igniting your freelance motivation. You can sign up at philipwallage.com to get gems like that straight to your mailbox.